everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archie in our video studio today. We got a brand new product we wanted to tell you about. This is the Torch from Redline. Great new site from the folks at Redline, a hunting site. There are two versions right up front I'll tell you about. I, you can see here I have the dovetail mount. This one is going to have a bracket that mounts on your bow and then you've got the dovetail that connects to it or you have the direct mount, which is what I have on the bow right there. Everything else about these two sites is the same except for those mounting options. Probably the chief thing that you're going to love about this site is we do have two pins in here. They are vertically stacked. Your top pin is going to be 19 thousandths fiber and the under pin, the bottom pin, is going to be 10 thousandths. So, you know, you're going to use that lower pin for your longer distances. You want that smaller pin head so that it covers less of your target. Um, so great feature there. And here's arguably the coolest thing about those pins in there is I have a built-in sight light. Check that out. Got that glowing blue in there. How did I do that? Right here on the back. This is going to be your button for turning the sight on. There are four brightness settings. I'll turn it around so you can see them all. Right now, I am on the brightest setting. So I click it once. It's going to dim a little bit. Click it two times, dim a little more. Three times, that is the lowest brightness. Of course, we started at one, so it's three clicks. And then one more and we are off. So great feature there. Again, that is built into the site. So obviously it's rechargeable. And right here, you are going to have your USB port tucked behind that rubber flap there. That is going to be where you're going to charge that. You know, then when uh, it's not in use, you can just close that up and now that is sealed. You are, of course, going to get the charge cord with that. Uh, you, you know, it's got the micro USB in and then the standard USB. That's what you're going to plug into a computer or to a plug that mounts into the wall. Uh, but just a cool feature there that we haven't seen. We haven't seen a uh, sight light actually built into the hardware of the site before. Um, so it does take, let's say you ran it all the way down. It will take an hour to fully charge it and it will run for eight hours if you just leave it on. It'll run for eight hours, you know, but obviously you're probably gonna turn it on and off. Um, now, moving on. Let's, well, let's talk about some of the things that you're gonna get before we talk about some of the adjustments. You can see I have in here the green level, green or yellow, you know, it's a kind of that chartreuse color. Um, you, if you prefer blue, you're going to get a blue level. If you want red, you're going to get a red level. So it's, you get to pick which one you want. You are going to get a screwdriver as well. That's going to be what you use for your sight tapes right here. You are going to get another light. I'll show you where that one goes. So if you want to put a light the blue lights inside here that I turned on, they shine onto the pins. The extra light that you're going to get, you would mount that right here. That's going to shine onto the fiber. So a different way of illuminating things, you know, you can cast the light onto the pins or you can just light the fibers and then that's going to light up the very ends. Um, so again, more options. That's what um, Redline's giving you. Now, Look at all these sight tapes. You are going to, you know, you can see I have my um, metal sight tape mounted right here. You're going to get 40 metal sight tapes. It's actually 20, but each one is double sided. So you get 40, uh, but 40 metal sight tapes to put on there. You know, of course, the metal, they're weatherproof. Nothing can happen to them. They don't peel off. Um, they just you put them on there and they stay. Um, and you can see this orientation here. This is kind of new too, to where it is per perfectly perpendicular to your eye. It's not on the side we have seen or angled. It is straight back to your eye. So when I'm the bow hunter, you know, standing holding my bow, 
I'm looking right at the sight tape. I don't have to turn it to the side. I'm looking right at it. And so I can get my adjustment, just reach up, make my adjustment up and down to get it to the yardage I want and go from there. Um, so that's kind of cool that it faces you. You will notice that you're gonna get 40 paper sight tapes as well. They, they match the metal sight tapes. They're exactly the same. And where you're gonna use that is on your sight wheel here. So I would mount it in this slot right here is where I would put the paper sight tape. And you know, obviously I can adjust. I've got my indicators up here as I move up and down, I can adjust that way. And you know, so again, options. If you're somebody who likes to adjust your sight like this, you know, I've got my bow in my hand, I can tip it up, adjust this way. Or if I want to look at my metal sight tape from back here, I can adjust that way. So options, There's, those are always great. Now, in addition on the wheel, you're gonna get two indicators. So on our vertical, we only have one indicator. On the wheel, you're gonna have two. What that's gonna allow you to do is set your top pin that's probably gonna be this one right here. And then you're gonna be able to set an indicator for your bottom pin as well. And something else Redline is doing that's unique here is that second pin, that bottom pin in there, it's adjustable. I'll show you how to do that. So on the back here, you can see I've got my pin stack and right here, can see that Allen screw. So watch what happens when I loosen that. See how I'm moving that up and down? If I turn that around, so you can see the front, there's my second pin moving up and down. So what that allows you to do is fine tune that pin position so that it precisely matches your sight tape. You know, if you, fi if you find that where your indicators have to sit, it just doesn't quite get there. You can move that pin a little bit in order to um, line things up so that your indicators are always marking those two sight pins. And I mean, so that's super handy when you're out there in the field. You know, you just look at that, if you're at distance, you can just look at that second indicator and you know where that bottom pin is, is gonna hit. Um, now, so some other cool things here. As you saw me do, we've got this nice big latch here. So this is the lock in the up position right there. This thing does not budge at all. And super handy, it's got like a little lip right there. I just flip that over and now, it is loose. And look at these gears in here for when that is moving up and down. Big teeth in there. You know, it's got double-sided teeth on the wheel that are connecting to two sides of teeth that you have on the vertical post. That's just screaming security and stability. That is not gonna go anywhere. And when I get it to where I wanna set it, just take this push it in the up position. And it's not, uh, I mean, it slides nice and easy forward and back. It's not like something that sticks or, you know, sometimes you tighten it when you go one direction and it definitely gets tighter this way, but it's not a ton of pressure. And then that thing is locked into place. Now coming around the back here, we've got more adjustments. So got these great big caps here for adjusting uh, for your windage. I'll go through first. You have, this is going to be your lockdown. I loosen that and then I have micro adjust windage here. You can see I've got the brass section right there and I've got my indicator lines that tell me where I am and then just micro adjust. Clicking. It's a soft click. It's not loud but there is a click in there as I move. You know, if I do it fast, you can hear it. Um, but if I'm moving one or two at a time, you don't necessarily hear it, but. So that's my adjustment for that. Again, once I get it to where I want, 
lock it down, and then this does not move. You cannot budge it. Now you've got a second lockdown mechanism here. As you can see, this uh, horizontal bracket is basically, it's a dovetail. Uh, so you can see one of the notches right there. So if I'm not getting enough left adjustment or there's too much and I need to, you know, make a big adjustment left or right, I'm going to do it with this. So I just loosen that up and now I can slide it to one of the other holes. But if I pull it out, you can see those, those dents a little bit better. Of course, there's a pin in here that you're going to lock into one of those dents and that's going to hold it in place. So if I just feel my way in, you know, right there is one of those divots. I lock it down and now I do my micro adjust with these two knobs up top here. But you know, you got nice demarcation lines so that you can tell where everything goes um, and to where you are in the sighting. Uh, and now this site does have adjustments for leveling on the three axes. Um, and this one is unique. We don't see this a ton on sites, but this one does have a true first axis adjustment. A lot of times folks talk about the vertical bar being your first axis adjustment. It is often an axis adjustment that you do first, but it, the first axis adjustment is always right here. And I'll show you what that does. Um, Cause again, we don't see it too often. It's great to have it. Folks who run target scopes, you're going to be adjust leveling on this first axis all the time. I've got these two screws in here. Take my short head Allen wrench. All right, loosen that side, loosen that side. So once I have that loosened, again, first axis is going to be your adjustment this way. Basically what you're doing is leveling the scope as you look through it. Um, so that is your first axis adjustment right there. Once you get it to where it's supposed to be, lock it down into place. Good to go. Now, your second axis, your adjustments are going to be right here. You're going to have those two. I loosen them. And then as you can see, there's my second axis adjustment. With their dovetail, with the way it's shaped, you don't have to worry about that. The way this is all machined, this is the only second axis adjustment that you need to worry about. Get that one, and again, you can see my lines right there. I get those lined up, you know, when I'm in uh, doing my leveling, just figure out where those lines need to be, and then I can lock it down. And then lastly, third axis. Right here, these two. Loosen those. And we know third axis is the swinging door, forward and back. That's going to come into play, especially when we're shooting uphill and downhill. Once you get it set to where you want, once you got it level, then you just come back and lock those screws into place. And everything's machined really well to where when you lock those screws into place, nothing budges on this site. I mean, that's what strikes me about this. You know, I, there, I hear nothing, I feel nothing. When everything's locked down, this site is rock solid. Now, some things, a couple extras we've got on here. So right here, I have what is a hard stop. Um, so I have it set right now. I have it set on this bow. Uh, this bow is sighted in to where I set this pin so that my hard stop puts my top pin at 20 yards. So in other words, no matter where I am, if I just take this, you know, if I'm in a hurry, I need to get it to 20. I just take this, turn it. As soon as it stops, that hard stop is at 20 yards. You can make it whatever number you want. Uh, but on this setup where I have the book, where I have it, everything sighted in, it's at 20 yards. And again, just turning that, boom, got it at the hard stop, lock it in place. Now I know I'm at 20 and I can work through my numbers on the sight tape right there. Um, so that's great. And then in the pack, so one of the other things you're going to get in the pack are these two knobs right here. You can see I've got them on this site as well. 
and I'll use this one as a demonstration. Again, options, you know, you can turn this dial with your hand in this position, or if you want, you know, especially getting to that hard stop, let's say I'm all the way down, lock that right up. You know, that's just super simple to get that to the hard stop, lock it in and I'm ready to go. Um, so those are add on, they're just screw in. You can screw them in, screw them off if you don't want them there, but you have different positions to put them. You know, I found it's just handy right there because I can go from the bottom up to the top in one twist of my hand like that. Now the weights for these sights. So the fixed mount is going to weigh 11 ounces. Your dovetail, this one's going to be 13 ounces. Um, so neither of them is real heavy. Um, so that's going to help keep your overall setup light, especially for you Western hunters. You know, you're ha hauling gear way back into the back country. This is not going to add a ton of weight, neither of them, to your bow. All right, so that is the Torch, brand new two pin adjustable sight from the folks at Redline. Again, bulletproof, well built sight with tons of options. However, you like to interact with a sight, they have built that into the Torch here. Great job from the, to the folks at Redline. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that bell to get notifications whenever we put out new videos. And as always, if you have any questions, you can visit us at LancasterArchery.com.